What is going on, peasants? My name is JB, and uh, before we, uh, you know, get into this team builder slash battle, uh, as you could probably tell by the length of this video, uh, some stuff happened, and let me just apologize far in advance. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. So now that that's out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and move on uh, with the matchup. We this week we are taking on uh, Gray, coach of the Los Angeles Val in Valientes, who is the co uh, commissioner of the UPBA. So this should be a really fun matchup. We played him recently in APALC. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool to play him again. But let's go ahead and go over his team here. He has the Megalodia, uh, the, that is Megalodia Os, <laughs> Clefable, Heatran, uh, Keldeo, Crobat, Hoopa Unbound. Uh, Rotomo, Gligar, Crustle, uh, Dusclops, and Heatmore, with Heatran and Gligar being the Z users. Uh, pretty weird, Gligar. Not really sure why, but uh, I, I'm I'm positive it's Gligar. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely Gligar. But um, yeah, really scary team. Uh, Megalotti's a gigantic annoyance. Uh, I've have to play like Megalotti, uh, one of the Megalotti twins, twice in like uh, these next couple weeks in leagues. So, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Clef is also very annoying, uh, you know, obviously being uh, either unaware or Magic Guard and just like eating hits for days, recovering, can T wave stuff, can um, set up rocks and do all that sort of things. Uh, Heatran, uh, as a Z user, it's probably going to be a little bit more offensive, which Heatran is actually very hard to switch in offensively. A lot of times uh, people tend to think about Heatran as more of like a defensive mon, but no, Heatran is a very potent offensive threat as well. Uh, it's relatively slow, so. Uh, hopefully we can be able to take advantage of that, but it can do some things like, you know, uh, obviously Toxic is a thing uh, that Heatran likes to do. Like, it can Magma Storm Toxic, Trap Toxic, you, you guys know what I mean by that. Um, and yeah, it's just a pretty annoying mod. Keldeo, pretty fast, good revenge killer. Uh, can be annoying if it's subcall mine, but I don't really see that having a great matchup here. Uh, Crobat, fast, U-Turner, uh, Super Fang can do that sort of stuff. Uh, Banded Crobat can be annoying, Nasty Bat is a meme. But who knows? Maybe he thinks this is a good matchup. Uh, Hoop on Bound just kills everything in sight. Hoop on Bound is ridiculous. It's stupid, and uh, I hate Hoop on Bound. I actually love Hoop on Bound. I don't really want to draft it soon, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to before uh, USCM ends. But yeah, Hoopa is ridiculous, and it's a ton of fun, and yeah, it's just really, really scary to prep against. It just breaks everything. Uh, Rotomo, uh, it's a Rotom. It, it's a Rotom. It both switches. It willows. It pain splits. Maybe defogs. It leaves storms. It, it, it's a Rotom. Uh, Gligar, Fat, uh, Eevee Limon, Rocker, U-Turner, Earthquake, gets Knock, uh, immune to Toxic, so that's cool. Uh, Crustle is <laughs> just terrifying, you guys know I love me some Crustle. Uh, it can Shell Smash, it can set Rocks, it can set Spikes, the great uh, lead Hazard Setter, it pretty much is always guaranteed to get up uh, at least one Hazard, or you can get up a couple layers of Spikes, even. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a great uh, mod in general. Uh, Dusclops is stupid. I hate those clubs with a passion. It's one of those ones that you just have to make sure you prep for, or you just lose if it's like a rest set. It's just it's so stupid. Um, and then Heatmore has a pretty cool move pool, decently fast, and it's just sort of uh, there. I don't really understand why the merits of having it and Heatran on the same team, but you know it's whatever. And yeah, that's gonna do it for that. So let's go ahead and hop right into the matchup. So first off, we have uh, Mega Absol, Miss Murder. So yeah, we, we got ourselves. I uh, it does it does work. It does like accept that on. Uh, Wi-Fi, so that's pretty cool. So we got a nice AFI reference, and you know, get, he, the dude has like the emo swoop hair, so uh, I thought it fit. Anyway, we got uh, SD knockoff superpower and Iron Tail. The main uh, thing here, it ha has speed for Mega, Ladia, Mega Latios, and it's really just here to click buttons. Uh, if he's not unaware, Clef, it drops to a plus one or a plus two Iron Tail. Superpower is nice for Heatran, and the knockoff is extremely spammable this game, especially if Clef goes down to a uh, Iron Tail. And yeah, it does the two Iron Tails, I believe, unless he is like max max bold. If he's Spadef, it drops the two, so I just have to land two. But otherwise, yeah, it's just a really uh, decent offensive mon against everything that isn't Clefable or like Scarf uh, Kelio. So yeah, it's just, I feel like I got a pretty good matchup this game, and yeah, it's a pretty decent uh, check to Megalotti because it does a ton with knockoff. It Okos with uh, plus two knockoff, and it always two goes uh, with knockoff because it has 150 physical attack. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We have uh, Sand Guardian, Guardian of the Sand, or Swampert with Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Scald, and Roar. Uh, we have Speed for Clefable Creep, Special Attack, because, really, uh, wait, we don't have Special Attack, I took that out. I uh, didn't this, but, but we have uh, Spideff. Uh, so we are 3-hit KO'd by Scarf, Keldeo, Hydro Pump, and we are 4-hit KO'd by Offensive Heatran, Earth Power. Uh, the Fizz Def is so we are 3-hit KO'd by uh, Scarf, Hoopa, U, Hyperspace, Fury. So yeah, we uh, take hits relatively well with this thing. We can Roar stuff like Calm My Mega Lottie out, Calm My Clef out. We can, um... 
you know, uh, that, we, uh, it's our rock setter, obviously, and then Skull and Earthquake hit most of his team, at least neutrally, so, yeah, it's pretty solid there, basically, it chews hits, you can get rocks up for us, and, uh, you know, just provide a decent pivot into most things, you can pretty much live one hit from anything that's not Rotom, so, it's pretty nice. Next up, we got Brain Freeze on Cryogonal with Freeze Dry, Hidden Power Ground, Rapid Spin, and Recover. We have uh, Speed for Tim and Rotom Mo. Uh, we are 2-hit KO'd by any fire move from Offensive Heatran, so we can live any one fire move unless he's like Specs uh, <laughs> or Physical. Does it get Physical fire moves? I don't know. It probably gets fireless. Who knows? Uh, we, are th we can 2-hit KO, um, KO Offensive Heatran with uh, Hidden Power Ground, so we should outspeed unless he's Scarf. 2-hit KO with HP Ground because we live to uh, one of any hit. Uh, and then we lift any move from Keldeo except Sacred Sword, and we two hit KO that with Freeze Dry. Uh, basically, this thing is a decent, you know, uh, spinner for us. It, uh, freeze Dry is pretty damn spammable against him, so if we can get it in and just click it against something, that'd be re uh, relatively nice. Uh, especially like uh, something against something like Rotom, where if he's uh, previously clicked Leaf Storm, we can just bring it in and just click a pretty free uh, Freeze Dry and get some big damage off on something. Uh, Would have liked to fit Knock Off on it to you know catch Gligar, but. Eh. I feel like uh, Free Shot should do enough to that where it won't matter. And then, you know, Recover is just nice. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Next up, we have Southwest, our Latios. We have Metronome this week with the moves uh, Calm Mind, Dragon Pulse, Psy Shock, and Recover. Uh, we speed tie with Mega Latios. And uh, this thing can actually set up on a decent amount of his team. So uh, it sets up on Keldeo, it sets up on Rotobo, and it can set up on Heatran if it's low. It can set up on uh, Gligar if it doesn't have Toxic. It can set up on. Uh, 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 his Mega Lottie, if he's clicked Draco previously, is what I was looking for there. You can set up on Dusclops if it, you know, doesn't have Toxic. And yeah, uh, Metronome, Psyshock helps us break Clefable, so it can't, you know, just sit in front of us and not die, unless it's like Cosmic Power. I probably should have thought of that a little bit more, but hopefully he's not that. <laughs> Next up, we have Thunderbird, our Tapu Koko with Kevia Berry. We have Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Eyes, Taunt, and U-Turn. So the reason behind this is we uh, speed time with Crobat and the T-Bolt plus uh, HP access everything neutrally. The reason we have Kebia Berry is so we have something that can live a uh, gunk shot from Hoopa, which pretty much Oko's everything on a team that isn't Ferrothorn, but Ferrothorn is just not great this game, so I didn't decide to bring it. Uh, we have Taunt to prevent, you know, whatever. It's just Taunt. And then, yeah, U-Turn is basically so if he's like Scarf, Hoopa, you, we can eat a gunk shot and then U-Turn out and kill it. And even with a minus attack nature, it does still drop, so that's pretty lit and then last but certainly not least i'm sorry uh we have uh tiny or snorlax with return ice punch earthquake and toxic uh rocking some leftovers we are three hit ko'd by scarf slash non-boosting item uh hyperspace fury slash draining punch from hoopa U. so if he's not like life orb or if he if he is scarf or um you know uh or he's this berry or whatever basically if he's scarf i really expect scarf hoopa to come uh i am you know, 3 KO by that, and I can do huge damage back with that in return. And yeah, this thing basically is just sort of here to sit in front of things to take hits. Uh, it's great if he is Magic Art Clef, I can land a Toxic on that thing. Same with something like Mega Lottie, I can chew a hit from that relatively well due to my massive HP stat and good spin up. And then, you know, we can, you know, just land a Toxic on that. We can land a Toxic on like uh, Keldeo locked into Water Move. Uh, Rotom, it's, just, it's, just a, it's a decent, you know, special sponge. It's sort of what Snorlax is here to do. Throw off some Toxics and do some big damage back with Return, Ice Punch, and Earthquake, which hit most of his team neutrally. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for the Team Builder, guys. And like I said, uh, if you could tell by the length of this video, uh, I do apologize. So that's going to do it for me. Um, I'll see you all in the battle right, um, you know. Oakley dokley, peasants, we are back here with the video. And we're just gonna pick, uh, let's go with, actually, you know what, let's go with, uh, someone I wanted to use. Where is it at? There'd it go. There we go. We're gonna go with Necrozma, cause, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I could feel myself getting a, like, a migraine right now, so hopefully this game doesn't take 47 minutes, cause I feel like crap. But, you know, I, I, I should be fine to play some Pokemon, uh, just... You know, it's whatever. But yeah, we are playing Mr. Uh, Jack or Gray. You can see the six that we went over in Team Builder and the six I expect him to bring. Uh, so you have the Heatran, the Megalotti, the Keldeo, the Hoopa, the Gligar, and the Clef. So the only thing I got wrong was uh, Gligar instead of Rotom. So I'll take that. Yes, saw how 
how badly, how poorly I played against Rotom last week, so hopefully, uh, you know, not seeing the thing is a good omen. Uh, but anyway, in terms of a lead, uh, I really like... I really, really like Absol in this game. Um, I also just like... Honestly, I, I really do just like Kurt as a lead. It's kind of a catch-all lead defensively, so... I'm okay with it. And that's like the third time I've used that phrase in... Like, a week, so... Hopefully I'm not becoming a tryhard. Now let's go ahead and... Pull up this team. Not seeing Dusclops and Crossel is really good too, because like no one wants to play that crap. <laughs> so yeah, good luck, have fun to uh, the commish, and let's see if we can't get ourselves a dub and bounce back from last week. So he is going to end up leading off with. I'm going to be paying more attention to like uh, my recording software rather than my DS down here, because like it's just easier to look at my computer screen and it does it, like hurts my head less. So that's what we're gonna do. It's an MLP Gaming, which is the Keldeo. Okay. Not the best lead. That's not what I want. Um, if he is Specs, I believe he 2 KOs us. Yeah, if he Specs, he 2 KOs us with Hydro. Uh, if he sub call mine, I really... Uh, I'm just going to click Rocks and see if he sub call mine, or if he Specs, or if he Scarf, see what he is. Since he led with it, I kind of think he might be want to be like a sub command. He goes for Scald, I don't really care about that. Um, okay, so that did quite a bit, actually. Get our Rockingtons up, that did... Yeah, let's see. Knock this down to 128. 128. So that did like... A lot of damage. Uh, so that did... I need a calculator. My brain doesn't work. 207 minus 1. Nope. 128. So there's 79 damage. She's not specs. Did I just scarf damage? Oh god. I am all over the place. I don't know how to do things. My head does not work. Uh. It could be Scarf, but it'd be Modest Scarf. Yeah, that's Modest Scarf damage, so... If we were to go into Cryogonal on that, uh, we can take that very well. It's a chance to 4-8 KO, so... That's the play we're gonna make, rather than risking a burn. Just keep this thing healthier for Tran, because we can. This is gonna be a pretty free uh, freeze-dry as well, so... And if he wants to go Heat Tran on that, we can pop its potential Air Balloon, and then hit it with HP Ground. So let's see how much this does. Getting Young Bring Freeze. This for Toxic. Okay, so he's not Scarf. He's just Modest. Alright. Good play, though. I don't really mind this thing being Toxic. Scald, Toxic. Um, freeze Dry is very, very spammable here, so I think I just want to click it and see uh, what his play is. <laughs> If he wants to go Heatran, that's fine, like I said. Well, it'll, uh, tell me his item, if anything, like... This is only Z-User he brought, right? Z-Users are Tran and what? Let me look at his team. Uh, Tran and Rotom, I believe. Or is it Gligar? I guess he could be Z-Gligar. I don't remember, dude. But I know one of them is Tran, so... <laughs> yeah. Freeze Dry is, like I said, very spammable against this team. Very spammable here. His only resist is the Heatran, like I've said multiple times. I have HP ground for that. I do expect to see Heatran here. Uh, he could go Clef. Clef is like a fine middle ground play because it's a Clef and it doesn't care about anything ever. Get my hair out of my eye and be professional. He does switch into the... That thing, which is the clef, okay. So you see he's magic guard. That's good to know. And that's also spadef as fuck. Magic 
guard lefties. That would be a great time for me to have ran knockoff on this thing, but I decided to get recover instead. My pivot into this thing doesn't really exist. Um, so, him having Toxic on Keldeo is a little bit problematic for my uh, Lottie. It really is. Can you do this? You can do that. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. But I think we will go uh, Lax here. If nothing else, it should scare him out offensively. Anyway. But yeah, this is a pretty spedeftical fable. Because that did, like, not a lot of damage. He doubles as well into the Yitran. <laughs> I gotta respect that. Um, do we see an air balloon? No, we do not. We do not see an air balloon. I wonder what he was predicting there. He could be Shuka. I do expect him to just be Z-move, though. His earthquake switch in doesn't really exist, so I kind of just want to click it and see what he goes into. If he does switch, that's fine. If he goes Lottie, that's annoying. He goes Keldia. I'll take damage on Keldia for sure. I will for sure take damage on Keldia. This will tell me his item, too, since we didn't do damage him earlier. Really. We'll know if he's lefties or not. I think it's probably like uh, Wakan Berry. That is some okay damage too. So yeah, we don't see an item. I think it's Wakan. Um, I'm gonna make a risky play, I think. Because I kind of want to go Lottie and then pivot into the Cryogonal on the Toxic. Because I think he's gonna go for Sacred Sword here. Or secret sword, whichever fucking one it is. He's gonna go for one of the sword moves. So if I go Lottie here, that's a fine play, and then I can pivot into uh, the other one on Toxic, and then be able to click Freeze Dry again. So that's the play we're gonna make. He could just go for Toxic in front of this, but eh. I don't see that as a value play. If he does a good play, but it's whatever. He's just he's just putting himself in range of Coco. So I would think he would go for... I don't think he would Toxic this. Because for, for all he knows, that could be immunity. If he goes for Toxic, great play. There's nothing I can do. To stop that, he goes for Secret Sword. Perfect. That does no damage at all. As a matter of fact, I am faster than this. Um, I am faster than this. He is at... Uh, like 60%. I do kill with a Psy Shock. But he does have both a Heatran and a Lottie and a Hoopla to pivot into Psychic Move. So, what I want to do is go Pert here. Because we know he's not Scarf, so he knows how to die to this Psychic move. Get Pert in. Hopefully he switches. He does. Got him. Maybe. Uh, into Elfanto Jr., which is the Gligar. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That that would be your play. Okay. You could want to go for Defog here, but I'm just going to fire off a Scald, because it's Scald and it's free. If he Defogs, that's fine. I just get Leftovers Recovery, which puts me uh, more out of more in a better position against Hoopa. I don't want to say like, it puts me out of range of attack from Hoopa, but it puts me in a better position against Hoopa, if he's physical. But if he has Energy Ball, I'm just, I'm just fucking dead. <laughs> I, th I think you'd be want to be physical who played this game though, because it literally just gets a fucking kill. Just the only reason I'm Kebby Berry Coco. Just for that thing's gunk shot. Get a switch. Into Clef, that's fine. It's Clef, it's whatever. 
Damage on Clef is damage on Clef. We'll take it. Now. My best offensive answer to this thing, since we know he's a magic guard, is my Mega Absol. And since he's Fidap, he's at like a little under 75%. We go to a Clefable. We go with the Magic Guard set. First off, let me see Cryogonal. Yeah, that 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 freeze shock should or freeze shock should have done more. So if we go to Absol, and then we make this Spadaf. Iron Tail can kill if he's Spadaf. I think the play I want to make is going for an earthquake though. Just get a little bit more trip damage on him. Because even if he's fist up, I'm still doing like 60. Ah, shit. Okay. We do have, um... Call mine, metronome, uh, Lottie to help with this thing, but we also have Roar, so. He has soft oil, that's obnoxious. Uh, I'm gonna have to find an opportunity to click SD against this thing. That's a, gonna be my only real way of beating it. Thank god we do pack Roar, so keeping this thing alive is gonna be much more uh, beneficial than I had originally planned. Uh, get more chip damage on this thing, which is nice. Hmm. Can I kill this with Earthquake from where it's on? No. Not quite. Not quite. I could make the Cryogonal play again. Or I could just click two earthquakes. I think I'd rather just click two earthquakes. Just for an icy wind? Okay. That's not gonna do a lot. It's good to know he has that though. You know it's one blue set. Skull, Toxic, Secret Sword, Icy Wind. I do still think he's Wakan Berry, probably. Uh, this, so he's at like 10%, let's go do 10%. It should. In case he wants to preserve it. He just goes for Toxic, that's fine. It's annoying, but I'm okay with it. So Kelsey will go down. Uh, Perk grabs one. We'll do now. Uh, whatever that means. That's the Lottie. Okay. I'm just roaring this. I don't want to call mind. I'm just roaring this immediately. Just for psychic, that's gonna do a lot. I actually didn't do that much. No. That's actually really good that he has psychic instead of side shock. Um, so I am going to be at like 50 HP, I wanna say. Oh, okay, I'm gonna level one now. Um, we don't stay in here though, ever. I think we can actually go Lottie here. Because he should be forced out. I don't think he want to stay in. If he does, he'll click, like, fucking Bloom Doom or something. Let's 
see what he goes for. He does Papa Z moves at Bloom Doom. No. Oh! Well played. Well played, sir. What dragon moves does this thing get? I know it gets Outrage, right? What other dragon move does it get? It gets Dragon Pulse. Okay. Well played. I can't even be mad. Okay, that's actually pretty bad. Um, so he's at right at 75%. If I go Absol here. There's like 86, so he's just like max HP for whatever reason. I still have like a I have a 75% chance to kill if I just click superpower immediately. Which he has no uh, nothing that wants to take. Except for Clef. In which case I could just raw iron tail. Or I could just go Snorlax and laugh at him. But that invites in Clef. But I think Snorlax is a safer play against this. He's seen Earthquake. He'll probably either go Gligar or Clef here. I want to Ice Punch, like, really, really badly. If he does go into Gligar, this is a great play. I'm clicking it. He does switch. Please be Gligar. I think that's Gligar. Perfect. See how much this does. Should do a lot. Okay, yeah, that should be a Tokyo from the range. This play now would be... I don't know what, so I'm just gonna click Ice Punch again. Lax is looking like a... just staying alive Wincon. Um... Shit. Interest. I think this is a 2 KO though, still, right? Oh no, it's because he loses flying that. I'm making the crowd gonna play. Goes Clef. Fuck. He got me. Fuck, 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 fuck. I might just have to sack here. This thing is necessary for Gligar, I'm starting to realize. I think I could actually just go hard sand guardian. I think that's my best play. Unless he attacks me twice, I should still be able to roar. Hopefully. I, have to just, I just have to get a free switch into Absalom click SD and I think I can just clean. We've only seen soft boiled and caustic powder, right? I don't think we've seen anything else. If he has Moonblast, I'll show it here. But I have to roar, it's my only play. He does have Moonblast, can I live? He's not boosted special attack, so maybe. I do live one. Fucking perfect. So I just have to get Absalom, dude. That's like my only way of bringing this back, I feel. I get the Hoopa in, which is fine. I can just click Earthquake here. Yeah, there's no point in keeping this alive at 15 HP. No, just click Wake. Hopefully he clicks anything other than U-Turn. If he clicks anything other than U-Turn, I think we can do this. Like, just kill me with anything other than U-Turn. Give me a free switch. 
pretty should definitely die here. Sorry my commentary has been like completely uninteresting like I said at the beginning. I feel like crap right now. Hmm. I don't know what he's waiting for. I would love for him to just kill this. Like, I just need Absolin, dude. Um, so... Assuming he clicks anything other than U-turn, I think my place is to go Coco, you turn out into Absol. Like, that's my way of getting Absol in. Goes for Fury. Perfect. Okay. Here goes one on one, Hoopa grabs one. Do we see Life Orb? Do we see anything? Any, any knowledge? Nope. Okay. There you go, Coco. And we click Dirty Dan U-turn. I don't know why I said Dirty Dan, I just wanted to say Dirty Dan. <laughs> but yeah, we just U-turn. Ooh, I forgot I had Taunt on this, it's also good for Clef. Go me for remembering that. I'm smart. I swear guys, I'm smart. He does switch into the Gligar. I get U-turn. Okay, so. I'm thinking a little too far ahead, I think, at this point. Obviously. Well, okay, he's at under 50%. If I go into Absol, and I click SD, and he clicks Roost, I'm fucked. Because he can 2 kill me with Earthquake. So I think the play I have to make is going into this guy first, letting him go Clefable, and then making the double into Absol right now. I think it's the play I have to make. Right? I feel like I, ha I have to make the Absol double here. Because if you guys are Roost, that's... I guess that's fine here, but he shouldn't. There's no world where he goes for roost here, right? So I think my play has to be Absol. I could also HP ground, predicting he trying to come back in, but it's fine. I'm gonna go Absol here. HP ground probably would have been the play if I had thought more about it, but like my brain doesn't work and the whole time I've just been telling myself I need to get Absol in, so that was like the first thing that came to mind. Like, I need to get my Absol in, forehead. Um. Don't go Heatran. He went into motherfucking Hoopa. Okay. That's 75%. This scarf, he kills me with Drain Punch. So I can't stand. He did go for Drain Punch, okay. Last time he showed uh, Gligar on this, which I could HP Ice, but I'm almost positive this thing's Scarf. But he's not allowed to speed him, and I should live out of a Gunk Shot because of Kevia, and I can just U-turn next turn if he is Scarf, so 
do I want to go for HPS to catch the Gligar, or do I just want to U-turn out? They don't care about the Gligar, because if Gligar takes rocks plus another U-turn, he should be in range of Absol, so I'm just going to U-turn. Because he train, I don't care. Yeah, he does, okay. I can go Lax. And I can Ice Punch again. Yeah, I have to go Lex. Or... Okay, he's a... A decent amount of HP. Superpower kills always from this range. I think this is my time to Mega. Why does Magma Storm do so much? Good lord. But, uh, yeah. I think I just click Superpower here. If he goes Hard Clef, he got me. Superpower is fine. He does have the Lottie and the Cleft of the switch into this though. I think he said it. Does Mega go before switching? I don't know. I don't pay attention to things like that. There's not knowledge I have in my brain. Sit in. Okay, he should be dead. Miss Murder doing her thing, and that song has totally been stuck in my head this entire game, by the way. Alright, Train's gone. And so is Heatran. Technically, it's okay. I guess the Cleffin. I can't let him go for the thing he wants to go for. Actually, if he Moonblasts, that's really bad. If he cosmic powers, it's even worse. I think I just have to. Do I live one moonblast from Uninvested Cliff Haven? Is there a cosmic power set? No, I don't. So let's just say he's. Spit off. With no defense. And I'm at minus one attack. Iron Tail's still doing about half, and I think that's my only fucking play. However, if he goes for. If he goes for Cosmic Power here, and I go for SD. I have a chance. No, I don't. I'm a place to just click two iron pills. Okay, that did some damage. She goes for cosmic power. Should have SD'd. Should have SD'd. Can I break this? Can I break this? We'll see. We'll, we'll fucking see. Um. He has the moon blast here though. And I just go for iron tail again. I think this might be just game. I don't think I can break this without a crit. Which I did not get. He's cosmic powering again. He's giving me a chance, bro. He is giving me a chance that he should not be giving me. Um. See, the thing is, he might just be clicking cosmic. He. He shouldn't Moonblast here. He should heal here. I would think. That's what I would do. I have to give myself a chance. Yeah, okay, he does soft boiled. And now here comes my fucking...
Here comes the Moonblast. So I'm gonna get one plus one off. Plus one Iron Tail off to him. This should do a decent amount. That's all I can really say. It should do a decent amount. I'm three for three, by the way. Okay, that's some damage. There's the Moonblast. Have Fable, we'll get one. Alright, so I have to taunt this fucking thing with Coco. This set is so cancer, dude. Best case scenario, he goes for a soft bullet here. Best case scenario, he goes for soft bullet. And I can just spam T-Bolt until I die. <laughs> I don't break this thing, though. I had to get Absolent earlier against it. That was just my own fault. I got too sidetracked by killing other things. Yeah, I should have I should have gone Lax on Tran like I like always like that was always the play. I don't know why I did it. I got I knew Lax on Tran was the play. Didn't make it. Hmm. Yeah, that, that was not the play. I don't know why I don't know why I did that. Definitely should have gone Lax on the Tran. He hasn't seen a Z move yet, so or my item yet, so he could be like Calking Z move, but I don't think there's any way a Z move kills him. Let's go for Taunt though. Got him. Okay, that's good. That's good. So he can't Cosmic Power anymore. He can't Soft Blood anymore. And I can just click T-Bolt. This is gonna do nothing, by the way. You already see how little this shit's gonna do? It's gonna do like 20% maybe. He's at a little above half. If he switches for some reason, that's huge. If he decides to switch, that's gigantic. So two turns of taunt left, okay. That's how that works. God, I feel like crap, bro. Watch how little this does. Oh! That is some damage. Hold on. We have a chance here, boys. We have a chance here. Jesus, okay. I just have to click it. I think he's offensive. Like, I don't think he has any defensive investments. I think he's, like, modest. Yeah, I think he's modest, dude. <laughs> Give me a roll. Shit. Give me a roll again. Shit. Well, there went my poopa check, so that just wins now. We have to go Brain Freeze, the taunt ended. Um, and I just have to hope Freeze Dry kills. Because I don't have taunt on anything else, I can't do it. I can't make any other play, I just have to go Freeze Dry and hope for the best. I think Lax can do this if we get rid of this. Like, I really, I really do think Lax can pull this off. He has Psychic on Lottie. Nah, he can, he can just Drain Punch with Uba. If I live one Drain Punch, though, I think I can do it. 
I'm gonna chew hits from Lottie. Especially if this kills. If this kills right here, right now. I think we still have a chance. But I don't think it's going to. It's showing Max is 13% and he's at like 17 or something. So I don't think there's anything- I think, I think we just lose the clef, but there's a, there's a chance if I get the skill. Not a good one, but there is a chance. I don't know what you're waiting for, bro. Just click softball. If he chokes and attacks me, then that's fantastic. I don't think he will, though. He just needs to click softball. That's his only play. Because taunt ended, right? I'm pretty sure it did. <gasps> Why? Why would you do that? I mean, you just click drain punch twice and win. But you're giving me a chance to freeze you. Which I fucking did. Are you kidding me? That was my only win con. If he met with him making that play, that was my only win con. Was getting that freeze. Are you fucking kidding me? Drain punch kills like thirteen snow. Oh, wait, that's level one hundred. I can live too. I go into Snorlax 100% of the time. Are you kidding me? No way that just happened. No way that just happened. He is 1000% in range of return. He's even in range of Earthquake, but I'm clicking Return in case he wants to go, like, Gligar or something. He does switch. Into the Gligar. Bro, what the fuck just happened? I barely miss out on that KO. I go hard back into Brain Freeze. This is doable. This is very doable. He goes C-Train here, right? I don't care if he goes C-Train, I click Freeze Dry anyway. Because I'm still faster when I click HP Ground, we know he's not Shuka. Yeah, I just Freeze Dry here. I don't care if you go. I don't care if you go He-Train. I'll just Freeze you. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just choke? It's all gonna depend on when and if Hoopa thaws out. I don't care if you go heat train here. I have the HP ground. Cause he can still fuck. He can still. If he goes clef here, he can fucking soft blow it up, and that's really bad. Okay, he just gives me this. He, yeah, he just goes. He just goes Clef here, and wait, no, because he doesn't have Spadef boost. He dies to Freeze Dry. He can't go Clef here. So there's Lottie and Hoopa left that Lottie barely has touched the field, which he should go into now. Which he does go into now. Okay. Um, he should be max speed for sure, so. He's max HP. Uh, I'm not doing a lot. If he's no HP, I'm not doing a lot either. Faster. Mr. 
Call mine. Okay. That just lets me go, uh... Let's go lax, I think. I go lax and I click toxic. I'm a very, very, very bulky Snorlax. I should be able to eat. Hits relatively well. I'm at max HP. Hmm. He has a chance to take me. This might actually just win. I didn't click toxic. I'm retarded. I'm sorry. I'll click return once. Um. Fortunately, I don't have rest, so even if I wanted to be his time stalling prick, I can't. So I have no way of recovering HP on Snorlax outside of leftovers, which won't matter after as soon as he attacks me. I really wish I would have clicked Psychic there, that would have been huge. That would have been a very big brain play. But unfortunately, I have a small brain. And it hurts really bad. Land the toxic here. I think he's fist up actually. I don't know, dude. I don't think I can do it now. There's a psychic. That shouldn't kill me in one hit? No. But it will too kill me, and I don't think there's anything I can do to stop it. Pouring a crit there. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of shit. Shitty shit shit. He'll recover here, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Actually, it might. Return damage plus toxic. He might have to recover again. Actually, he won't be able to recover again because he'll die to toxic if he recovers again. He'll have to kill me, he'll die to toxic. Or either way. Hmm. This is gonna be- this is a weird game, dude. This is a super weird game. And I'm faster with Cryogonal, too. Even at plus 2 Spadat, that should be free strat range. If he doesn't attack me, he dies to Toxic. If he attack- if he recovers, he probably still dies to Toxic after return, so... I think I'm gonna get rid of Lottie. Hoopa's still frozen, and Heatran- or no, Clef's alive. Has Heatran been dead this whole time and I'm just retarded? Yes, it has. Sorry. Like I said, guys, I have a fucking headache. Don't hate me. Okay. I think there's a ties to Toxic, right? No, 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 no. Maybe. Almost. Either way, as soon as he kills me, uh, he's gonna be in range of Cryogonal, so... Um... I don't... I don't think this is the play, dude. Is it? He should've killed this. Cause I'm, I think I'm out of range of a Psychic now, right? He just died to Toxic! Bro, what?
Um. Returns the player. I think I just had to spam return. I don't have anything else I can do. Because he's going to be able to stop bullet on me. I just have to spam return and eventually I'll get back to max HP on this thing. Like, this is doing a lot of damage. And I, like, this is the. I'm running a bolt, like a calc against a bolt clef, and I don't think he's bolt. Yeah, that, 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 does a, that does a ton of damage. And I think I have more returns than he has soft boils. He's used like four or five already. How many PP does soft boil have? I think it's 16. He used a few already. I don't think he can set back up on me with cosmic power. Yeah, he has 16. He's, he's, he's used like four or five already. So I have 25 of these left. So I'm just. My play is just spam return. I'm sorry this is so disgusting, but, you know, it, it has to happen. Could you imagine if I was metronome on this instead of Lottie? My god. Okay, so, at what point do I start actually actively going for the timer win? I don't want to do it, trust me, I don't, but I have it at this point. I, th I think, I think that's the plan. So I don't think he ever gets back to a range where he can kill me. I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to do it, guys. I don't want to do it. But if I can get out of this game with a win, I'm going to do it. Like, it's the last thing I ever want to do. But how much HP do I have on Cryo? Yeah, it's basically full. Well, not basically, but you know what I mean. His hoop is at around like seventy percent or like sixty percent, I think. And both of the like, <sighs> bro, 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 bro. If he gets set up with this, he just said he's not trying to stall. And like, I, I understand, but like, it, it's it's the way this game is going. Like, I, I understand you have to do what you have to do. Yeah. So yeah, we're 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 on the same page. Like, we don't want to do it, but like, you know, it's it's just sort of what we have to do. So. Uh. Yeah, I think I think. I think I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna do it guys like I'm sorry uh, <laughs> I'll speed up the end of this battle but yeah it's what I'm gonna have to do Wednesday. 
Alright, so, uh, sorry, I'm just apologizing, saying GG's and stuff, but, you know, uh, the only reason I won that game is because I got the, uh, free draft freeze on Hoopa, so I just want to, like, put that out there. I know I should not have won this game, and I do, like, apologize for the fucking timer stall. Like, I've literally, I've literally messaged Diet Tide to get, uh, uh, to, to get Diet, messaged Diet Tide to get tips on timer stalling. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. But, uh, yeah, I do apologize, you know, you have to do what you have to do, but, and, you know, we take the win, uh, I feel bad, I just, I just want to acknowledge that I would have lost this game had I not hacked this man, so, uh, GG for sure to Jack, I've, again, you know, it's, I, I don't know what else to say other than I hate myself, and, uh, I apologize for being a piece of shit, but, that's gonna do it for me, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, if you all don't unsubscribe for the channel, if you do, I will understand, peace.